pit stop of the 2021 race schedule brings us to the Wolverine State. As we are set for 400 laps of racing here at the quarter mile Flat Rock Speedway. Welcome out to the level pedal. Tim Clagg alongside CJ Perry. CJ, we are in a little bit of a hurry up mode because all day long with the humidity, we've seen a cell pop up and it's been getting bigger and bigger as it's coming down from Detroit. So how does that play into the factor right now? But do you throw patience out the window in this first 100 lap race? Let's take a look now at the starting grid here, starting up on the pole here. We normally see him here in late model competition, picked up his first win in nearly three years. That's the three-time track champion, Paul Pelletier, and to his outside driving the 99, Lance Lipasek. Row number two, the 118 of Landon Schuster, a former track champ out at Flat Rock and owner of one of the finest street stocks in the Midwest, alongside the 28 of David Leaf. Six straight top tens for Jeff Metapedigan, dating back to 2019 in the Street Stocks champion from Toledo Speedway in 2019, Ethan Stanuchek. Row number four, the 104 of Max Fair alongside the number 33 of Greg Stute, a man who has won every conceivable championship both here at Flat Rock and at Toledo Speedway, a diamond member of the ARCA Championship Club. Rob Moore Jr., the only driver to compete in all 16 100 lap street stock races. An average finish of 8.9 in these 100 lap races. And two is outside driving the 15 machine. It's Kyle Worley. Row number six, the 97 of feature winner Nick Shanks along the 103B of Caleb Barrett. Back in row seven on the inside driving the 45R machine. Johnny Rangel and two is outside driving the 69G. It's Brian Graybill. Row number eight, the number four of Colin Barron alongside longtime figure eight champion and a driver of the 46B of Jeremy Vanderbilt. Paul Hahn driving the 02 to the inside of row number 92 is outside the newest member of the Michigan Motorsports Hall of Fame. That is the legendary Ron Allen. Row number 10, the number three of Trevor Farmer alongside feature winner James Panko in the 5P. And making up row 11 by herself driving the 22P, Clarity Patton with a runner up finish to her credit and sitting fourth in points here so far. CJ, I think the word to describe the 2021 start here has been parity. In five races, we've seen four different winners. The only repeat winner has been, of course, up at the top by himself, Greg Stu. You get a look there, the two-time champ, Greg Stu. I'm so interested. He is the model of consistency here. In the last 18 races, he has not finished worse than six, dating back to 2018. And so far, Paul Pelletier not able to get around the lap machine of Caleb Barron. Barron, Barron a few weeks ago missed qualifying because of his work schedule, was able to get here in time, work his way into the A-Main and Landon Schuster spinning sideways, spinning out of that third position, comes to a rest in the middle of the backstretch, a tough break for the former track champion. How about the fourth generation driver up to the second spot as we see this battle further back in the pack, now back up front. We mentioned him in the 104 machine just coming off his first sportsman victory last week here at the quarter mile racetrack. Max Fair has got the pedigree and now he's got the second spot. Pelletier is running so smoothly though. I, I don't know, uh, we will see if Fair has enough for him, but right now running in that second spot, it looks like he's got the stronger car than he's met a pedigree. Right now gaining a lot of experience. Yeah, we see a car on the inside. Two more cars coming down. Schuster has pulled in. Yeah. Take a look here. Yeah, there's a, ooh, boy, front end getting ripped off. That's, is that Colin Barron, I believe, in the four? Jake just got Pankow. Yeah, and Pankow and Colin Barron got into it. Pankow ends up worse for the wear. And Pankow entered tonight, tied for fourth in points, coming off that first career victory on May 8th. And Rob Moore Jr. has number one in this 100-lap street stock division. He's racing all 16 of them, his best finish, second where he's running right now. Lap traffic up front, three lap machines directly in front of your race leader, Paul Pelletier, trying to go through the middle. He gets sideways, and here comes Rob Moore to the inside, looking for the race lead. But Moore's got nowhere to go either because you are just stacked up with five lap machine or three lap machines and two other cars. Four wide, entering the corner. There's contact. The 69 and the 103 going around, and the yellow flag waves. Something had to give. Brian Graybill and the 103 of Caleb Barron getting turned sideways. 
half a lap away from going back to green flag racing. 23 to go. Paul Pelletier is your race leader to his outside the 81 of Rob Moore Jr. 23 laps to settle it here on this Saturday evening at the quarter mile. Every restart so far has featured fair in Pelletier. This time, though, Pelletier having no problems with Moore either. And we may be just outside that window where Pelletier might not encounter any more lap machines. The long way around, six to go. Here comes Max Fair to the inside for your race lead down the back stretch. But well, you still got Pelletier to the outside, so Fair has to deal with Baron. And as long as Baron does not drift up, Pelletier may still keep this. Five laps to go. Your leaders trying to navigate around lap traffic. The 103 not trying to go a lap down the two leaders they make contact down the entire length of the back stretch new race leader here at the line give it to the 104 of max fair here comes rob moore charging to the rear end of the 104 machine and all the while baron up front in front of fair and moore is thinking if he can do the same thing that fair did to pelletier he can get the lead oh, they make contact paving the way opening the door here goes rob moore jr to the inside for your race lead down to turn three and four white flag in the air one more lap around where are you going to be in with that lap car right in front of you if you're rob moore can you just get in front of fair and fair is going to use it almost to perfection as he gets just a quarter panel in. they they're, split him they're going to go three wide rob moore jr down to the inside max fair to the outside the 16th time is the charm for rob moore jr his first win here in the 100 lap Corrigan Oil Race Fuels 100 lap street stock finish. Last lap pass. There's Remerick all the way to that third groove here. They bump, they bang. How about four wide at the start finish line? Look now, here's Kyle Metapedican running inside the top five. Pacing himself for the long haul here as we're approaching lap number 30. There you see third, fourth, and fifth battle for the lead side by side up at the front of the field. Tenex Stanuchek taking the race lead away from Rob Remick. We've seen Shepard make a charge in lap traffic. Two different runs now as he all of a sudden dropped off big time. Is there, there's a problem, a oh problem yeah. for the second place runner, Derek Shepard. That green machine well off the pace was just starting to track our leader, Tadek Stanuchek, issues with a second place runner. Yeah, something broke right around turn number one or two. We'll see if Shepard can guide this down into the pits. He was having such a good run and then something broke. And also to the 19 machine, Cody Remick off the racetrack. His evening is over. You can have that kind of room allows that pulse to go down. Yeah. You can get a little bit more comfortable behind the wheels. That is the best side that any driver can see. Nothing out in front of the windshield, nothing out right in your rear. You're right, right. Stress-free laps. Finally, does he have them this time? Yes, he does. After about 25 laps of trying, Kyle Metapenigan is finally able to clear <laughs> Herbie King. Wow. That was a lot of work for Metapenigan. Tough break for Ed Case. Case was having a great run last month. Finished 12th. Had some bad luck. Led 35 laps tonight. Racing inside the top five before getting involved in an incident at lap 129. Getting hooked together with the ninth place runner at the time, James Ray. So the drama starting to unfold here. 112 laps to go. And I think they have a plan. I think they know we're not going to race each other. Let's try and pave the way, get up to the leader, Tadek Stanuchek, and then we will race for the lead. He has eight up this lead, is now Stanuchek around the outside, trying to put Case and Ray a lap down. They get together again. That's the second time they get together. Stanuchek <laughs> going up to the fourth group, almost up against the wall. Oh, boy, look out. There's the payback we talked about. <laughs> Case getting together and pushing James Ray into the outside wall. Those two got together about 60 laps ago with Case running inside the top five. And you see the damage. There's heavy damage to that right front of the 14 machine of James Ray. Up to the door, side by side for your race lead. Tadek Stanuchek on the outside line. Kyle Metapedigan will lead that lap at the start finish line as he is now your fifth different leader here in this race. Oh, Group here's one, an opening. Two. 
Going to the low side, Kyle Metapet again, inching that nose of the one machine out in front. He clears Tadek Stanuchek at lap 215. Finally wrestles away the lead. Stanuchek went to the well one too many times as he swung up just a bit too high. If you take a second look here, you know, as he tries to go up to that, wow, that fourth route to, to, to try to get around King, Meta Pettigan saw his opening and just cut right down. Great move by Meta Pettigan. He is your new race leader. Does the new check have anything left in that 20 machine? Had the perfect strategy. Didn't lead until lap 215. He leads the final 35 checkered flag for Kyle Metapetigan. Boy, does not work out much better than that.